So hello everyone. So today we're going to have a hard talk. So um, it happened that last year December. I mean, if you're in 2050 watching this, last year December is 2021. Um, I went across this window just to look at the scenery, and I I saw most trees dead. Um, there was no flowers on them. Even the flowers that were on on those trees were brown. And I don't know why, but I felt the urge to take a picture of how it's looking like. Then um, about two weeks ago, February, um, I looked at this side of my building and I saw a, a vast length of trees. Um, but there was this portion which have started flowering or they have started growing so beautifully white. I'll show the imagery on this video. Then when I saw this, um, the scripture, I believe, in Job chapter 14, where it said, at the center of water, even those things which are dead will sprout up. And I looked at um, my life. I don't know why I had to see that, but I thought I should take a picture and notice those two things. But this scripture really got to me. Um, last week, I was talking to a friend, and he was telling me how he has gotten to the end of himself. He made a call in the morning talking to a friend and he never thought he would get to the point where he would be thinking about such an alternative way of making money. Honestly, um, and I was talking to him and actually telling him that I know it gets to the point we all get to the end of ourselves. And these two pictures I'm actually showing you actually spoke to me because at this moment I'm going through a lot of things and I'm thinking so much. Uh, I remember um, the beginning of February, talking to a friend, um, a very dear lady to me, um, and the, in the evening, I just said we, we were just praying, her father was not feeling well, we were just praying for her father, and the crazy thing, and we prayed for health, we prayed for strength, and every, everything for this man, at the end of the call, I was like, oh, let's pray for her mother, that God will give her strength and all that um and the following day in the in the middle of the night I've, i had a notification for my whatsapp i looked at the phone and <laughs> she just told me that the father was gone i mean the father just died and because so it got into me i was like i was praying so much we, we prayed for this the evening before like, why is this happening? I mean, they can get to the point, everything gets so hard, so hard. I mean, when you are giving our life to Christ, we hear the stories about how things can be rosy and all, and we come into the faith, and then everything seems not to be so. You can get to the point, it gets so hard, so hard, so, so hard. Two, two years ago, I remember... I lost a couple of relationships. I don't know what happened. A lot of things have been going wrong. People left my life. Important people left my life. I was working an internship just to gain a skill. Funny enough, um, I got a message and they said, I, have to, I don't know what someone went to say. They said they were letting me go. I mean, it was unpaid and it was free, which I was later last year, 2021, I was freed. From, and I realized that it was not my fault and everything because a lot of people had the same issue and I got to the point I was lying down because COVID time we had been in lockdown for almost a year I could remember lying down trying to pray I couldn't pray I was literally sh shaking I mean shaking my prayer times were just sitting on the ground sitting on the ground and oh. in the evening when everyone was asleep at midnight the strength I could gather, I would just walk around my building, just praying. I was like, like, what? Like, this is not it. You, are tr you, you, you can see yourself loving the Lord and trying to do everything, and you didn't see this coming. But just like the scripture that came to me in Job 14, at the center of water, it shall spring up. In the scriptures, we see um, water being a connotation of um, the word of God washing yourself um, by the word of God. And Romans came to me, I shared a couple of weeks ago on faith, hope, and love. And the Roman scripture, Roman scripture 
came back to me when it says that for the things which were written forehand, they were written for our learning, so that we through the comforts of the scriptures might have hope. Looking at that flower, I realized what hope looks like. And I don't know who is watching this video. It gets to the point we might get to the end of ourselves. I think I might do a series on um, hard times of the believer's life and how we can walk through it. Like, I was like, what on earth is happening? But then I've tried to read my scriptures and to read my Bible. And I, I last year, 2021, I had the opportunity to read through the whole Bible. And when I closed it, I believe um, the last book of Revelation, I realized that in the end, everything was okay. Or in the end, everything would be okay. That might not be the answer you are looking for. You, you are expecting something better than hearing that in the end, everything was was okay. Or in the end, everything would be okay. Like the Roman scripture I said, like so when you go through scriptures patiently, we see people... We see the likes of Joseph, we see the likes of David, we see the likes, the likes of um, Jabez, how these people went through all sorts of things, all, all manner of things, and in the end, everything was okay. Um, I pray that as you, you go through these times that you are seeking answers, you might actually find hope in these scriptures. I remember going through um, Hebrews chapter 11, <laughs> the Hall of Faith. When we saw people doing miracles, women seeing their dead raised back to life. And the craziest thing was when I got to the portion, when the Bible started to list the people who couldn't get some of the things that they wanted. They died having hope. They died having faith. And the Bible classified all these people as people of faith. And... This video is not to prove that I have all the answers, but I want to let you know that have hope. If you have ever seen a scripture or you have ever seen a story like Hannah, if you have ever seen a story like Abraham and Sarah, if you have actually seen stories like this ones, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, if you have seen stories like this, I'm sure you saw how they ended. Look at those stories. Keep up. Keep your hopes up. Keep hope. Keep on hoping. The Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Or makes the heart sick. So I pray that you find comfort in this the scriptures that you have seen previously. That everything will be okay. Also, I want you to remember testimonies. I was talking to a friend and I was telling him that I've come to understand that testimonies are also report cards. Because... Testimonies prove that God is able to do something. And in the end, just like um, the enemy left Jesus for a season, that the enemy came again, came again in, the, in, in, in Peter. The enemy came again in, in the Garden of Gethsemane. The enemy came again multiple times. The enemy leaves us for a season and he comes back again to try us to see if we are still in the faith. And I pray that um, the testimonies that we have received in the past, those testimonies, we archive them. If you are listening to me now, maybe you're in, you're in a great place having testimonies. I pray that you archive these testimonies because it gets to a point that you would have to draw from these testimonies that you have had in the past and hold on to those testimonies that um, God who did it that time can do it again. Maybe you got a miracle money and you are broke and you don't know what how things will be sorted out. Just remember the past things that he did and know that God can do it again. And I pray that um this script these scriptures I mentioned, these pictures you are seeing and this video um encourages you. So thank you for joining me. Um let us pray together. Say dear God um I don't know who is listening into this. I don't know who is watching this. Um, maybe they have come to the end of themselves. Just like um, I have and be think and I've been thinking so much myself. Um, I pray that I pray for them, even as I've been praying for myself, that oh God strengthen me, strengthen us, 
that will continue to work in you. May we not lose hope in you, for we know that in the end everything will be okay, and know that you will take off that you will take off us because you are our Father, and every good and perfect thing comes from you. And um, after we have walked through these times of trying, so these times where we feel broken and lost, and when we get to the end, we get to the end when we see the light at the end of the, the tunnel. When we receive our testimonies, when our lives are changed, we'll be able to help others who also need to hear this. So, so, so thank you for even the one who is watching this, who has not even um, given up yet. Uh, thank you for the strength that you gave to them to get to this point. And I pray that you continue to strengthen them, strengthen the inner man, as the word says, strengthen us by your spirit, O oh God. May we keep looking unto you, the altar, um, the finisher and the perfecter of our faith, O oh God. Uh, we love you so much and we appreciate you for everything that you do in our lives. In Christ's mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. So, yeah. This is a hard talk I wanted to have with you. Um, see you and on the next video. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your month. And then enjoy the rest of your year. I hope that um, when you receive your testimony and you get something good, you might actually come back to this video and even leave a comment to encourage, to encourage someone who also, also sees this video later. So God bless you. Um, I love you guys so much. And goodbye.